what's going on everybody it's your boy darkness falls back here in another video so yeah man we're here to talk about some more ever crisis here final fantasy 7 so yeah man as you guys see in the title description we are doing the how to get the 12 stamps so you can get the outfit so i just put stamps you know just to make it short but yeah man you know we are here if you guys look at my previous video i explained everything about the uh reroll process and the ultimate reroll process so if you guys haven't checked that out go check out that video first it's gonna have a lot of context there now i may repeat some things here and there but i'm mainly here to talk about the stamps only now going up to the stamps gonna go to the draws i'm just gonna give you guys a quick brief history from the last video if you already watched it so here are my stamps i'm currently 11 out of 12. so first i had got six stamps to start off with so i got uh two multis and i got three uh stamps each so that was part of the first video that i uploaded and um yeah i was happy with also the uh weapons that i also got so i was very happy with that stamps plus weapons like i said that was the angle that i went for i didn't just go for weapons weapon weapons that wasn't going to give me anything so yes then right after that i thought grinded some story mode played some co-op did some other things i did another multi and i got another three stamps so i was at nine so i had three multis and i had nine stamps just as easily so that was very lucky there and then i did my fourth multi i got a two and that's how i ended up with 11. so here i am with my fifth multi and i'm going to get the outfit right now i'm going to go ahead and equip it for you guys so you guys can see it in all its glory but this is the main issue and i know a lot of people i've seen some people make videos and they're not aware or they just don't understand how this works so i've seen people saying hey i got a lot of weapons and i've seen people that summon three times and they got one each time so here if you look at the stamp list they're only right here if they got a fourth multi you know if they got another one that here so they're gonna just probably before this end you know get the weapon but you're not going to get the outfit so like i said if the outfit is not your aim I understand but just understanding the stamps you're not going to get it in time especially if you're free to play like me i'm i'm f2p i am not um a spender right now i've not spent any money so i've done this right now f2p so yeah man um be careful like i said watch the ultimate reroll guide that that just explains everything about getting stamps and getting the weapons that you want and what you should be looking for so let's go ahead and get into it man like i said my fifth multi i've seen people go six multis or seven multis and get it i don't think that's bad either especially if they got the weapons that they wanted but yeah you don't want to be far away for the stamps and um not be able to get it if you want the outfit unless you're just gonna you know spin and spin i wonder if it can go over once it's only got one left that'd be funny and you can only do multis you cannot do singles and get stamps so yeah, this is only one left. Y'all just gonna give me one? Yeah, see, it's only one left. The highest I got on that was a five. And I was, yeah, I guess it could have went up more because we had the second page. I would have loved to get up here. <laughs> Hopefully I get something on my uh, my wish list that I want. I want a weapon for Tifa. And what else I'm looking for? Probably something else for Aerith, like this damage reduction weapon. Physical attack. It's a physical attack um, staff and the reduction for the whole team. So I really want that. I think Cloud got enough weapons. I don't really care about it. But if they give me a Cloud Mirasame dupe, you know, we'll take that. All right, turn my alarm off there. Uh, he didn't die. So we're probably not getting nothing here. It's probably a dead multi. Are we getting something? Please, we let it play out for the sake, for the sake, for the sake. Yeah, we didn't get none. This one's up. I heard you can get a fake out, but I never got it. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I wasn't going for that. But as you see, there's the outfit. You see what I did get there? And I actually, man, started my account last night. So I, I've done this less than 
24 hours because I did start re-rolling in the morning, but then I had to go to work. I said, I'll do it when I get off work. So I did it probably like 7, 8 o'clock. Finally got my account and I logged in. Now we got to work. So yeah, we don't have anything else to draw, but now we have the outfit. So now I don't have to worry about the stamps. I mean, Barrett is Barrett. I don't really care about him, but you know, I don't have to deal with that mess. I already adjusted this, but these are my wish list. I wanted this staff right here. This would have gave us physical defense increase. So the mithril rod, but they didn't give it to me. But it is what it is. We're on the second page of the stamps. But let's go to your boy Cloud though. Because you know, now we got the outfit. You guys know I bought the outfit with for Aerith with the free ticket that they give us. So now she now he has an outfit. Now I gotta get one for Zach or somebody else. We'll see down the line. So now I got it, man. You know what I mean? So we got the outfit here and all this glory and I already got cloud sword as well because I got that through the stamps. So with the sword, you know, we get the lightning strike attack. So with this, I got 35% more damage with it and we're going to be um, doing more damage with that attack. So let's go ahead and just hop in some real quick. Um, don't really matter. I think I already, I already equipped it. I was playing some co-op since I didn't. I'll show that in another video. Uh, let's go to solo content. That way we got wait on nobody. You know, no no shenanigans. Uh, let's see what the battle tower. I think I'm somewhere near an enemy. Let's see how far are we. I think I'm at like stage three. Uh, is this the dual build stage? I think it is. Yeah, we're kind of. A little bit over the battle power so nothing too bad i've been building up era because i mainly use her in co-op so i run her as the healer for uh you know everybody else want to use cloud i understand that so i let everybody else beef up their clouds and all that so i'm gonna be running the support build with your girl era we put this mainly on auto but you'll mainly see when he does the thunder strike it's gonna do a lot more damage Especially if you fight like a bunch of machine type enemies. Um, a lot of them, you know, we'll counter them in the story and some other people who may be weak, weak to lightning. We're going to like tear them to shreds, man. Oh, they hit 22. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me manual this real quick. Come here. Let's go to Arab. We're going to go through that Karaga 8. That's why that fairy tale is very important. <laughs> is there something after this? Yeah, he weak his eyes. Okay. Okay, this is probably the boss. Lightning still? No. No, he he gets water, I think. Um supposed to save so I can heal. Okay, on Zack, that hurts very bad. Let me heal my boy up. Ain't no surviving that. Get him out. <laughs> what are you in there? Let me get your boy Cloud. Looking good. Just like we need to see him like this in the animation next time. So that way. We can get um, a goal, man. You know, five star. He didn't have on the outfit for us, but yeah, man. Like I said, that's how you get the stamps, man. So uh, hopefully, after you, you know, re-roll and say if you get four, not let's say not four, sorry. Say if you get about six stamps, I would say six stamps is probably the baseline after you do your first two multis. If you can get six stamps and two, um, you know two of the weapons that you probably want fairy tale predominantly you got to get that regardless but just know you're going to get cloud sword regardless at six stamps so mainly you want fairy tale and something else probably ideally but if you just get fairy tale i mean you, you can work with it and then you just got to get luck because you got to do multis and if you don't spend any money you're gonna have to grind the story and some other things 
and um yeah man you may not get the luck you may keep getting ones and twos and that's each multi so like i said i got lucky i got uh three threes then i got a two then i just got a one so hey man we'll take it got the costume and i also got the wallpaper go ahead and put that on while we are here so we can see what it looked like oh i don't unlock the wallpaper with this mm. so it means it's, it's unlocked a different way i didn't know i thought that would unlock the wallpaper or maybe i just hadn't clicked on it yet let's claim all that yeah i'm at to see how to unlock that wallpaper that's strange that um that doesn't unlock it do you need to have like multiple copies or something but we'll see we'll see we'll come back to that but yeah that's how you get the 12 stamps easily like i said look at the video before this one i went over what you should be re-rolling in the ultimate re-roll guide but i just want to show y'all man getting the 12 stamps is possible and it's not that hard it's just that you're gonna have to play the game a little bit get lucky on your multis and that's it catch you guys in the next one peace out